Hey guys, it's me, Greenboy657 Gaming here, and if you can't tell of the from the title of this video, we're gonna be doing a bit of a different video today. Now I am gonna be playing Minecraft in the background of this video, so you don't need to watch the watching the video will have nothing to do with the actual thing I'm gonna tell you. And if you can't read the title or something, the name of it is oh, whoops, Traumatizing School Bathroom Experience. I might change it to a more clickbaity title than that, but good for now. So, let's get right into this. Alright, we're back. I'm going to say, in advance, sorry for the terrible mic quality. I am hoping to buy some form of mic, but for now, this is what we need to deal with. Okay, guys, so, we're going to be talking about a very interesting thing that's happened to me. Now, I don't know if you know, but I go to school... Yeah, I do that stuff. So, here's the story. So, I needed to use the bathroom, and I was like, okay, let's go use the bathroom. So, I left my class. I left my class to go use the bathroom. And, you know, I was in there for about two minutes just doing my business. And then I was, like, just about to get up. But then, I'm pretty sure the world was like, no, don't get up. And then this person, or this kid, walks in. And he, it just as soon as he walks in, he screams as loud as possible. Like, he just screeches. You can tell it's a boy, though, but, like, he tried to screech like a girl. And then... This kid walked straight up to the stall I was in. I was in one of the stalls. And he bangs on it so hard that the lock almost broke. And at this rate, I was telling myself, I was asking myself, should I get out or should I just wait for this kid to leave? And he goes into the stall next to me because there's no other stall you can go in. There's three stalls. There's a stall I was in, there's a stall next to me, and then there's um, there's a stall for the disabled. But of course, the stall for the disabled, the lock for that is broken. So there's only like two stalls. So he has to go to the one next to me. Um, I don't even know if I want to continue what happens next. Okay, I'm pretty sure he pees. Because it sounded, I don't hear that kaplunk, you know? And this kid, just he keeps banging on the walls, screaming. He was jumping while he was peeing. I'm not kidding. I'm pretty sure none of that pee made in that toilet. Like, he was jumping. While screaming, while banging on the walls. I don't even see how you can do all of those at once. And I was like, okay, I think I should get out. And then I'm like, I was just about to get out. I was so close to freedom. And then this kid finishes. Right? So I'm like, you know what? You know what? I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm just walking out. It's a good thing I got out of that stall. Because as soon as I got out... That kid crawled from his stall. He crawled under that little divider into my stall. Not kidding. And then he literally shut the door for my stall when I was outside. I was washing my hands now. The sinks were right in front of the stalls. And he had to open a crack so I could see him through the mirror just looking at me. And then this kid, this is the weirdest part. He hasn't said one word yet. And then he says to me, who washes their hands 
after taking a crap. Not kidding, his exact words. And then he runs out the bathroom, screaming again. Now, can I remind you, this kid, this kid has some five-star sanitary-ish, five-star sanitary, man. Just so good. He comes into the bathroom, he goes into the stall, pees while jumping and screaming, because that's sanitary, and then he crawls under the stall, so his hands touch the floor. So if he got any pee on the floor, or any kid that gets pee on the floor, because I know there's some kids that do that. Like, you know, they mess. So he's got that on his hands. He, so he, he crawled under. And then he has the he has the nerve to say who washes their hands after they take a crap. And then he walked out with without washing his hands after touching all that stuff. I don't know what I I would do. I mean, I don't know what you would do. But I just I just walked out. And I was like, okay, this just happened. And I forgot to mention this to the story, but there was this kid that was just like in the corner, underneath the sink, he was like curled up in a ball. I don't know if he was crying or was he just trying to be weird or awkward or something, but that just completed the story perfectly. So, yeah, that's what happened to me. Um, if you like this kind of style of videos, please let me know by leaving a like greatly appreciated and because of the fact if you look at my likes for most of my videos I've gotten some dislikes I don't know how that happened so please like to cover the dislikes and five likes and I know you like this kind of content and I'll do more videos like this oh by the way the story I just told you is 100% true so that's going to be it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you in the next video.